reality. No more revolution, we are free. And from this broken cross, we can see the inscription. We fight in the name of God for our freedom and the love. Also named Green Ring, because of the main street, San Martin. Uh, on 11 of November, Poznan organized uh, for the times was also much destroyed. Not so much like Warsaw, and 60%. This is uh, St. Uh, uh, Paul II, the uh, Polish Pope's parents. Okay, we're going into the monastery with the Black Madonna in it. It's the monastery with the Black Madonna. So she says she's rather frisky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was on tape. <laughs> We're all talking about the nun. <laughs> Can you see me well? Yes. yes. My name is Roman. I'm a monk and a priest. And I live here in this monastery. And they want to be your guide. But you have only one hour for visiting, so it will be an express tour. <laughs> we will see the miraculous picture of Our Lady, the treasury, and I tell you in the Basilica, uh, short history, short history about this place. This place. That was dedicated to the 94 people that were important Polish <coughs> people that were killed in 2010. <laughs>
Świętej, przede wszystkim wielbiamy Boga Ojca za imię Jezusowe, czyli za osobę Jezusa Chrystusa. Abyśmy mogli godnie sprawować tą Najświętszą Eucharystię, uznajmy, że jesteśmy grzeszni. Spowiadam się Bogu. Wzywając jej macierzyńskiego imienia, nabrali otuchy. Przez naszego Pana Jezusa Chrystusa, Twojego Syna, który z Tobą żyje i króluje w jedności Ducha Świętego. Bóg przez wszystkie wieki wieki. Amen. built in the 1600s but rebuilt after a fire in the Baroque style in the 1700s. This is the basilica next to where the Black Madonna is. There are 120 voices and 8,000 pipes in this organ that was built in 1950 in three parts. Goodbye, Swedish cannonballs. That's where the Swedish cannonballs are. This is the century. These frescoes were in the 1950s. <coughs> done in the 1950s that were about to look past. Many times the communists stopped the uh, pilgrims coming in on foot. And they used to um, stop people, and these are more confessionals. Pope John II, or whatever the Polish Pope was like now. Yeah. From the town, many people, many times say, yeah, it's full of people, especially in August. That also was made in 2000 year. Holy Masses are celebrated by the older, by the older, only on Sundays and feasts. Days from the beginning, and by communists. Here you can read the names of many places in Siberia where Polish people Three, six, well, ladies and gentlemen, here. please come closer a little bit. Thank you very much. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, please, we, uh, please check your receivers on channel number five here.
That's where newcomers were registered. That never served as a that served as a warehouse. That was for SS horses. That there is the camp's kitchens. There's 1,000 prisoners in here. There were orchestras in eight of the camp's three divisions. Such as Alma Rosa, great violinist from Vienna, who worked in camp's orchestra as a conductor. That was the orchestra that was, the prisoners had to listen to at night after bringing their dead back from the workhouses. All these buildings were built by prisoners. By prisoners during the while it was going. Building 4 was uh, the massive extermination from 1942 to 1944. More than a thousand people slept in a building this time. the urn of some of the people killed here, which was taken of some Hungarian Jews by an SS officer in 1994, a few minutes before the death. This is where the numbers were, the people were converted to numbers, and their registration. And this is where they were changed from the num people to numbers, and it was only 400,000 done like this when 1.2 million were sent here. which is where there's evidence that they were murdered here. Evidence.
People starve to death here. Cell number 18 is where that priest took the place of someone else and was starved to death for 12 days and you will see the burning the candles in there. Cell number 18. where shooting executions were carried out. This is where the shooting executions were took place. 11th of November 1941, the first hundred people in front of the Block 10 was closed so that people couldn't see. This was where they would hang them up by their backs so they couldn't reach the ground, their tendons all broke and they couldn't use their arm. This is, roll. this is roll call ground where they had to record it at the start and the end of the day. This is where there was a mass hanging held on these barbs here. This is where the roll calls took place. Now we're coming up where the first Auschwitz commandant was um, killed in 1947 or put to death after being found guilty of mass murder. This is, was the uh, SS building, and that's the gallows, up to the only gas chamber that remains. This was changed to a bomb shelter, it was the first gas chamber.
thousand people put here. There was a village here that was replaced by this camp. And everything you're looking at is original except for the rail tracks and the barbed wire. So everything here is original. It was much bigger than Auschwitz one where we were before, included gas chambers, male and female areas. That was the building we just went in and they had to, were only allowed to go to the bathroom twice a day. And then the other prisoners had to go in there with their hands and dig out the feces. now protected by the law. We are now in the western part of the city, which is mainly residential. In fact, all the buildings that you see on both sides of the street uh, and around this junction, they are all student hostels, uh, dormitories. So uh, 10 centuries AD, Krakow already existed, and it was the provincial capital of a region of Poland called Małopolska. The word Małopolska means Little Poland, it's a geographical and historical name used until today. And as early as the first half of the 11th century, Krakow became capital of the United Polish territories. So shortly after that, the city began to develop and it flourished, especially in the 13, 14 and 1500s, which was the golden age in the history of Poland. But about 400 years ago, in the early 1600s, one of the Polish kings decided to move the royal residence from Krakow to Warsaw. Now I will stop the, sto the, the history of Krakow for a while because I want to point to some behind the fence and very old train engine. This is the university campus of one of the two technical universities of Krakow, which was founded in 1919, just after World War I, to train Poland regained independence, not as a monarchy, but as a republic. Uh, the time of independence did not last very long, however, because after 21 years, World War II started. So this is when our city and our country lost independence again. So this was very short history of Krakow and of Poland. I hope this will help you understand what we will talk about later. And in a moment we are going to travel along the old town's outer ring road and on both sides of this street which we are waiting to enter. Uh, you will see a lot of different uh, academic institutions of Krakow, uh, buildings of some universities, libraries, museums uh, and uh, scientific research institutes, etc. So uh, this street is called with the name of three famous Polish 19th century roman romantic poets. Two of them are buried uh, in the crypts of the cathedral, so you will hear their names during our visit. So uh, in the moment house, uh, lots of different art galleries and more than 40 different museums. So of course to see them all, to visit them all, you would need several weeks. So as I mentioned a few minutes ago, this street is long, which goes all the way from the south to the north. Left on the riverbank, you can see the, the panorama of the castle hill, which we are going to explore later. So now we, we are about to cross the river again. On your left, one more time, you can see the panorama of the castle hill, which is called the Gravel Hill. So you can see the uh, cathedral towers and the medieval fortification towers. And on our right, on the riverbank, you can see another famous place, white church with the two towers. It's called the basement of the church. There is a crypt of honor where several This is a place in the 1300s that the first Jewish community 
was established in this town. <coughs> All the synagogues in this area were uh, plundered. There's a museum of Judaism has been. If you lose this, I will have it. <laughs> it's forewarned. <laughs> These are uh, kosher food in Jewish communities. Oh. Classical music, which is a type of Jewish folk music. It's one of the oldest synagogues in the area, and it's now used for kindergarten. Ha Helena Rubinstein was born here, who made the um, big uh, industry in, in the US. This is a continuously operating synagogue for 500 years. Behind the synagogue is a cemetery that dates back to the uh, 1600s. This is a monument to all the people killed, all the Jews killed. Six days after the beginning of the war, the German army was already just put in a five-and-a-half-year-long occupation of our city and of our country started. Immediately, the Germans began to introduce all sorts of persecutions of the local people. Special measures were taken Schindler's List was filmed in this area and parts of it in the squares because from here in Krakow they were sent over to the uh, Jewish ghettos all the people that were living here in the uh, Jewish quarter down the end there's a old synagogue and there was a synagogue down the other end with people buried from the 16th century <laughs> so I have to stop the bus that was the area, the old area the interesting museum museum of city engineering his pharmacy inside the ghetto so he gave a lot of help but first of all he was an eyewitness to everything that happened here and he described it all in a book when these people were gone but the whole square was covered with old furniture thrown out from the behind those houses behind Schindler's those buildings so if someone those would buildings. like to visit Schindler's factory during your free time be the main square of the district of Podgurze and on the left in one hour and the bridge which is in front of us uh, was here before and during the war and this bridge was also in fact one of the places where the famous movie Schindler's List was filmed uh, and a new tradition built only about four years ago or five and a new tradition was started there where uh, inside it's a museum uh, this is the start of the Castle Hill Wolf in uh, Krakow in Poland where our tour doesn't finish. Okay. okay, I think we are... 1740 was a leader of a uh, uprising against the partitions in, the, in Poland. And there's a museum somewhere here. So this guy went over and fought in the War of Independence. Cosy Oscar. Yes, Cosy Oscar. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> That's the guy that um, Mount Cosy Oscar was named after. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. We have the same in potatoes. The most important is this. No photographs, please. Okay. And as I've seen, someone has got a video camera. Say that again. Well, a dino and a mammoth. Uh, a mammoth phone. Um, they'll let you have as long as those phones are in place. The cathedral will never be harmed and so far it's still good. Okay, thank you. This is where most of the Polish kings are buried. And that's where the coronation was for several hundred years. Second, who was became a priest here in the underground cemetery during the Second World War and was made a uh, priest just after the Second World War. Came back to this church seven times during his being pope. We're going this way to visit the Royal Court now. We're now entering the Royal Court now. Royal Court here. Picky time! Okay. <laughs> That's right. 
told we've been pronouncing Mount Kosciuszko incorrectly for years. Yes. <laughs> Well, I couldn't pronounce Kuzushko. Kuzushko. <laughs> it just doesn't sound the same. I'm going skiing on Mount Kuzushko. Replaced by those stones. Another place. So now we That's where Pat Paul was when he was in Kaka. And the deer in the headlights look. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your scarf recently? My mom this is actually my mom. Yes, sir. Yes. A cheap subsidized food uh, that was communist. Uh, was during the um, communist rule. And it survived. Very short waterway on the downtown. <laughs> Franciscan century uh, chapel, Burton, the uh, 13th century rebuilt central town. And a similar history, the Dom Dominican church. <laughs> Big pencil. I mean, not a dollar. Three dollars in New York City. Mm -hmm. Of course, what? So now we're entering the main <laughs> square. Oh, I've got no idea what it's about, but it looked like. There's three important me medieval municipal tower with a clock on the. <laughs> this is the 15th century tower of the city hall, of which now there's a small historical museum in the middle. Can you hang on to that for a minute? Oh, take it again. So this was... One in here was like a medieval... Do it again. It's like a medieval shopping mall. Um, in the 15th century, that metal. Interesting museums. One is located on the first floor. It's the gallery of Polish 19th century art. And the other museum is located on the meters underground. Where in a really very interesting way, they show the lady or, or St. Mary's Church, where we are going now for two short ceremonies. So not to miss them, let's continue. The main university bells built just after 1400 with a lovely little portrait. Back in the German. Well, that was so... This what? This is a summer post yeah, office. That's it. Honey? We're about to go in here for a service just before midday. What are we going to do it here? No, look around. The famous Basilica of Our Lady in Cracker, or St. Mary's Church in Cracker, built in the 14th century, so it's all Gothic architecture with the two high caves dominating the old town.
There's a bugle call just before the, the trumpeter crack out, it happens just before noon. Then a ceremony at the opening of the altar. And then the bugle just before 12. So above the altar is showing the coronation of Queen Mary of the Queen of the Heaven and Earth. After the war, there was a special commission of Polish art after the war and they found the altar in the American occupation zone. In 1946 they brought it back. It was, it was handed over to by the Germans and handed back. So it was stolen by the Germans but they got it back. Going up the stairs, up the bell tower. What's that? Oh. Oh. Yep, it was fine, but I did have a horrible feeling I just lost it. Yeah. I want to line up. So we're at the top of the bell tower in Krakow. Okay. On the what? 
Wawel. Wawel, no? Wawel. Yeah. Who are you waving at? Anybody that'll look. Anybody that'll look. This is the top of the bell tower in Krakow here. There's some sort of ruins. One last pan around of Krakow, the major square. Yes, Deb. The Yingbo transfer. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. Are you having fun yet? Yeah? Yeah, 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 man. All right. Are we talking? Uh, very, very good. It is on. Very, very fun. Very, very, very fun. Very, very beautiful and very, very important. Delicious food. Yeah. Delicious food. We can have some delicious food. All right. Okay. Now, I'll have a look at you. I'll have a look at you. I'll have a look at you. I'll have a look at you.
towards the salt mines. Where was she in? Oops, no Ooh, lady. Oh my god. Everybody, cuddle day. <laughs> I was always a bit suspect about you, Lance. <laughs> oh, we're going up. I'm sorry. Oh. I said no grabbing soon. Now we're at the bottom of the salt mine. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to right for you. Please believe me, salt my is huge. But if you keep me, no problem for you. I know very well salt my you are safe with me. Yeah. Okay. okay good. <laughs> Just uh, please remember seven miners generation with my family work wow. in the salt mine. Of mm. course excavated rock salt. I am only guide. Just I walk it here with my grandfather when I was small there. Today my husband is mining engineer. I am only guide, but you are safe with me. <laughs> okay. How far on the ground are we? Sixty-four meters. Ah. Oh. is not very good at listening. <laughs> equipments, you know, metal iron corrosion here, but the salt very good preserve the wood. Many thousands years ago on the surface here was a very big forest. Today forest is here underground. Mm. It's true. For a new construction like is here, because in this place is a new one, it's only here about four years, the carpenters must transport the wood from Zakopane. <laughs> This chamber on the tourism. This chamber was excavated in the 18th century. But before 18th century, here was a block of salt. The miners excavated salt from here because, please remember, <coughs> the miners excavated in the salt mine only block of time because only inside block of time was a pure salt, was the eating salt. But really, the miners don't know where is a block of salt. And first, the miners excavated 2,000 chambers. But sometimes chamber is small, like it's here, because please believe me, here was a small block of salt. Sometimes it's a big, because it was big blocks. First chamber on the tourist road, it's named Nicolas Copernicus. You see, salt is on the floor, on the walls, on the ceiling. All is a salt. Oh, I'm so sorry, not everywhere. Only the door is made from wood, you see, wooden door. Uh, rock salt, yes. Uh, rock salt like is here around is a pure rock salt. Is it a salt like this on the... It's the same salt. Okay. Yes, it's the same. But this is so smooth. Is that touching? Yes, yes. 14 or 16 degrees, about 57 Fahrenheit. In the past, was and condition here. Everywhere accumulation salt water. Water uh, was on the ceiling, on the floor, on the walls. When water evaporated and concentration wise, so then you can see just up. But please remember, salt like this on the ceiling is a salt with a salty water, it's secondary salt. Rock salt. <laughs> Kinga's last stop before entering the capital of Poland was the little township of Wielicza. King Bela IV had a generous dowry of jewels and gold, but Kinga did not want them. Father, I beg you to allow me to give the Polish people something other than jewels, something they do not have. Kinga struck Wielicza's hills and recommended that miners start digging there. Your Highness, here is what we found. This is a block of purest rock salt, and there is something glittering inside. Dear Lord, this is my engagement ring. <laughs> it was the magic of Kinga's ring that mysteriously brought salt from Hungary to Poland. And that's how Poland grew rich, by acquiring salt, thanks to Kinga's generosity. Her godliness... 
skeletons up the back. Just in the corner, on the floor, have a look. St. Barbara is the patron saint of the coal miners. Inga is a patron of the miners. But really, uh, when the miners discover drugs flowers, yes? Oh, yes, 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 thanks. Oh, yeah. was underground leak, water was here. Here you can see how the miners transported the water. The water appearing inside the wooden tubes because metal iron corrosion here. But the... boxes were pushed by this way, please look down. In the 18th century, this place was a real trap. On the end corridor is a horse. It's imitation horse to the hill. But really the horses working in the south. One moment, in the south work at the the miners use the horses for transport, and you can see here, or for operating the machines. And I think so, the horses were unhappy here, because our lives did here, never come back again. Oh, who transported the soil, who transported the water, who transported the wood, who eliminated the gas. Just really the miners were a farmer. Example in the summer. The imitation of Kubra, the last horse to be down here seven years ago after the mine closed 16 years ago. Uh, here is very good acoustic, yes. In the each place, wine is a very good acoustic, but quiet on the tourist road is only sometimes, yes. Have a look at the door. director and manager in the salt mine. Today is government. In the past were kings. In the past was a royal mine. Today second or so. And on the ceiling you can see again stalactites. But I think so here it looks like macaron. No, spaghetti. I second. Ma macaroni. It's macaroni salt, yes. Just <laughs> because spaghetti. Okay, please come closer to me. And, uh, <laughs> thousands of years ago, the people who lived on the surface, just one moment, because I see. who lived on the surface, apart from keeping domestic animals, also produced the salt, but with the salt water uh, on, the, on the top of the surface. How have a look? Salt water put in a special vase, vase with a salt water put on the fire. The water evaporated in the vase was only salt. Just remember, 90 meters below the surface. Just this place, the miners use it in the salt mine for vertical transport, find the salt by the mining shaft. This look deeper, where is a wooden barrel's mining shaft. Here is a hand cross machine. Hand cross machine was operated by miners. Four very strong miners operated this wooden machine. Now I need two volunteers. Lady, mm -hmm. you see? Everybody can be careful. And this rubber is to change direction. <laughs> okay, and here you can see how the miners transported the final salt from a wooden bar with a salt transported by passages to the mining shaft and by huge wooden machine on the, on the surface. What was the point of that? What were they doing with the accomplishment? Ladies, ladies. Be careful. Yes, 
inside the wooden tubes, here is one open wooden tube and special wooden machine. Mm. Uh, this wooden machine was operated by miners. Two very strong miners worked only 10 minutes and was a change. And again, another two miners worked 10 minutes and was a change because it was very hard work. Inside wooden machines, they would have up the water and water uh, but because today it's in case you can't water, it's the same water. Okay, just here, yeah, leaving this place. Yes, 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 it's 17th century. It An office is a real one. Yes, yes, it yes. It looks yes, like money to go pee. <laughs> yes, just uh, exactly. Uh, and for a man, for a man, how many dwarves work in the salt mine? Because I remember very well a story about seven dwarves in Snow White. Seven dwarves worked in the diamond mine. Right. Yes. Right. yes. Right. How many dwarves work here in the salt mine? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> two thousand. Right. Oh. In the salt mine. The miners were very rich people. Prayed here before your work, after your work, during the work. Really. In the salt mine, there were many sacred places. I know about in 19th century, 78. But sometimes, sacred place was only sacral picture, monument, or chart. Few years ago, the workers transported just here, especially for tourists, from another place in the salt mine. <coughs> the miners excavated salt from here 50 years. Started excavated salt from up the stage and excavated salt that you can see on my right side. First block, next one, next one. In the first part, 20th century, it was only chamber, empty chamber. This chamber, again, miners. Only miners, no artists, decorated for a sacred place for a chapel. Just only three miners. Three workers decorated this place after your work, only in your free time. It was your hobby. Three miners decorated this place seven and zero, 70 years in the first part 20th century, but no all together. First started decorating this place, one miner after your work, next one, last miner, finished decorating. It was a last supper by picture Leonardo da Vinci because the walls are decorated by New Testament stone. Now this chapel we use for a mass celebration. It's every Sunday, 8 o'clock in the morning because here is very good acoustic.
、えー、Salt Lake is a real one in 19th century. In 19th century, here was 9 meters in the deep on the ground. Today, only 3 meters because you see the water above. You see coins because this person made delicious here. It's a special place for us. Because you know the miners every day recycle your life. Szczęść Boże is still active here. Because when I see second guide on the tourist road or workers, I say for everyone, Szczęść Boże. Can you repeat miners underground hello? Szczęść Boże. Oh my god, just I see. <coughs> this is the miners website. Marshall, you know Boja. It's sort of like saying God Boja. bless you. Boja. 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 Yeah. Boja. 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 Water today, no, because you see the water evaporated. It's only 20, 80 centimeters is in the middle section here. Because visitors travel it here by boat, this chamber needs a special place from the people who can swim. Here is, but really 10, because first we must go up, five meters up. 
on the end corridor is 125 kilometers. Because we are in the last chamber of the tourist road, I repeat for you, we visit today only 20 chambers. In the South Mine there are 2,000 chambers. We visit today only 2 kilometers passages. In the South Mine there are 300 kilometers passages. Chamber, but uh, really, uh, uh, salt was excavated from this place in 19th century. Yeah. Here is a uh, 37 Because it was a very big block of salt, the miners excavated salt from this place by many places. Everywhere where is a wood was a corridor, excavated the same block of salt by many places. Uh, because <coughs> now is the time for you 10 minutes or but my, my way here is a two minutes. One and a half minutes is mine. Any other questions? I don't know about her. So who ended the Poland video? This is for wedding reception. Wedding receptions. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Going through this course chapel. <laughs> Here we are going towards the exit. The final dinner in Warsaw. My brother lives down there still, and my most of my family, my parents moved up to yeah, so it's the horrible way that they were going to go the state that was affected. Yeah. Um, I remember mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, And then the Aussie crew and the Kiwi crew with Lance filming me, as I film Lance. Very competitive. It was an Who is the alpha male? <laughs> I don't think we've determined that yet. And what's become of the home sickness? And what's become of the church? The church? The cathedral that was there? Zero hours, zero minutes. I think I might be here. Okay, we're on. So, we have reached the end of our Polish vacation. We've had a wonderful time. As I predicted, we ended up at the Aussie and New Zealand table. We are the fun kids of this vacation. We've had a wonderful time. Deb, what do you have to say? Oh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Why don't we joke about players, but, you know, Say something, Lance. I've still got a couple of seconds. <laughs> Say Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi.